up everybody, it's Roddy Rock. Welcome back to Food Porn Friday. too long since I've seen you guys. I apologize for my absence, but let me make it up to you by showcasing a very special place. Las Vegas. Sin City! cha -ching. So my friend and one of my biggest supporters, Matt, from Asylum Gaming, flew all the way across the pond to Las Vegas and asked me to meet him there. He was really excited to meet me and I was so honored, so I had to take the trip down. So when I think of Las Vegas cuisine, the very first thing I think of is Lotus of Siam. Chefs from David Chang, the Bay Area's own Tyler Florence, Joel Robuchon, to countless other celebrities and dignitaries have all made the journey 10 minutes from the strip to eat at this mecca of Thai food. Matt had never had this specific Asian cuisine before, so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to bring him to one of the most revered Thai restaurants in the United States and potentially ruin all Thai restaurants from here on out. Nah, I'm just kidding. One of my favorite things to do is to open up people's palates and let them taste something that they've never had before. So this was such a wonderful opportunity. Now apart from a chicken wing appetizer stuffed with pork, I did not hold back despite my guest's lack of experience with these flavors. We went to the very end of the menu and ordered what Lotus of Siam specializes in, the dishes of Northern Thailand. So I knew Matt liked strip, so I eased them in and I ordered the deep fried garlic prawns. The cook was so good on these sea critters. The shells were like kettle cooked potato chips, so crisp and crunchy. <laughs> Oh my god. Huh? Oh yes, we were crunching on delicious shrimp shells. We followed that up with cow soy, egg noodles in a curry coconut broth, larb garnished with fresh herbs, and for our main entree, tender braised short rib with panang. Panang is a traditional peanut curry sauce, and at Lotus of Siam, they add a touch of cognac. It fell apart with little to no effort, and it melted in your mouth. For dessert, we had a traditional mango and sticky rice. The mango was super sweet and ripe, and the rice had this nice little hint of lavender, something floral in it that I couldn't put my finger on, that really added a interesting aspect to the dessert. Though I was surrounded by some of the most amazing Thai food I've ever had, it really brought me a lot of joy to meet Matt and introduce him to a cuisine he's never had before. Woo, it's been a long time since I've done this. Feels good, it feels good. If you like this video, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. A big thank you to Matt for coming out to the United States. You can subscribe to his YouTube channel here and I'll leave a link in the description for his Twitch stream. I make videos every week, so subscribe down below to stay up to date. Share this video with your friends, tag people that you care about, and until next time, I promise it won't be too long. I'll holla at you.